Hello everyone, I'm Yami Mash. Join me. Sh- and and and, and I'm Arrow. Uh, hi, why do you have Why do you have to do that to me? I what, can what, introduce what you... myself. Okay, we don't need to argue. We're in a podcast. Okay. All right, let me introduce. The yeah, podcast, we haven't really yeah? done these before, you know. Shh, 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 shh. Hello everyone. This is Yami Mash bringing you a new podcast commentary, and with me is Yami Mash. There's not two Yami Mashes, Shane. <laughs> That's a good point. All right. Hi anyway. everyone. <laughs> anyway. This is the podcast. We, there was meant to be, like, lots of people, but for some reason, nobody wanted to respond to us. You know, we were like, hey, want to be in a podcast? And nobody replied. No, so actually, was... no, you are c- incorrect there. What happened was, um, like Butter and Landon, they were meant to be here, and they will be here next time, I'm very sure. I'm sure they're just a bit busy, gone to the toilet or something. And um, <laughs> basically, we were up the pub. Aaron says, let's go for a quick drink. We'll be back in time. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm having my nice drink. drink, I'm having my nice drink, and Aaron's like, we've got to go home now, because everyone's going to be waiting for us to do the podcast, and you know what, we came home, and I'm not that drunk, and <laughs> I could be more drunk. <laughs> 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 and nobody's replying, like, we're like, hi, we're back, let's do the podcast, mm. both ignored us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, great, and, and then and then Shane was like, let's just, let's just do the podcast with the two of us, we don't need two other people, you know? Yeah, we, we, we're the best. Alright, we just got really good news, Aaron, tell them about the good news. Oh my god. God, epic news. So, EGL8, which is in Manchester next month of October. I, I think believe... it's the 5th of October. I'll have a look quick look. I think it's the week after, Shane. I'm very sure it's the 12th, 13th or EGL8. something. EGL8. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, you have a EGL8. look. But, but anyway, I spoke to the uh, the guy who's leading the Gears War sector. His name's Loco. And um, I spoke to him about being on the uh, the shoutcasting again. And he said, yeah, you can be on the shoutcasting. You'll be the main Gears War 3 shoutcaster for the event. And he said I can bring any guests with me. So this is where Shane comes in. So hello, Shane. <laughs> Hi, guys. No, I'm going to be I'm gonna be the guy who... Um, I'm, I'm going to be the colour commentator. I'm yeah, gonna, basically, I'm, I'm going to get Shane on stage with me, and it's going to be a lot of fun, because, you know, yeah. we work well together. Shane will hopefully learn a few things about the game. Dude, remember me at the last EGL? I knew so much about Gears, and then it just went out my head. Yeah. <laughs> it just fell out after the Shane after will be the, the colour, and I'll be the, the, the more tactical guy. I'll have to learn a few things, you know? Dude, I'll tell you what, if I was on stage doing commentary in the last one, it would have made the final just so much better, because no one told the story at the fucking event, which was great. Oh, it was an epic storyline. It was like a movie. It It was. was It was. Wardle was the evil guy at the beginning. The evil guy. He was smashing through absolutely everyone, making them feel like shit. Then by the end, everyone started smashing him, and then he almost came back and defeated Apex, and it was great. It was amazing to watch for a guy who's never even really cared. Epic comeback. Apex Imperial 2-2 going into the third game. Apex had one point away from winning. Imperial almost brought it back and then they won. It was the most intense finals I've ever seen. It was so sick. It's going to be a lot of fun doing this again next month at Manchester. Have you checked the date yet, Shane? Yes, it is. You're right. 13th, 14th. So four weeks, three weeks? Yeah, about that. And, um... Hopefully, hopefully we'll make it interesting and fun for the viewers. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of pre-hype for that event. I'm in talks with Loco about that. He's going to DreamHack this weekend, so I'm going to be in a call with him talking about pre-hype and stuff. Hopefully, it'll be streamed. Uh, supposedly, the production quality is a lot better this time around. So last it won't time be... was shit. Yeah, it was terrible last time. It took but... them so long to get the stream running. It was like they just didn't have everything sorted out. It was disappointing. I spent half a day sat down drinking tea. It was like, fuck this. Went out to go drinking. And then they had it sorted. And when I came back, they were like, where were you? And I was like, oh. Oh, you had it sorted now, did you? No, seriously. We were there, right? And there were so many little different games we could go play. We, we go, went and played uh, Micro Machines for the Mega Drive. Micro Loads Machines? We even played Atari, like, gunmen fighting each other. Oh, my other. God. That was epic. Like the Cowboy Western game yeah. that we played. Yeah. We oh. played that. And we did everything, literally everything in the massive hall that we could. We talked to people, we met people yeah, who we were there for hours. And you know what? Even after that, they hadn't sorted everything. So, we left. you know, we had to leave. <laughs> I mean, fuck, it we was boring. I was, I was spending money on Coke that I didn't even want. They didn't even sell and, food. And burgers. They kept saying, you know, burgers, nom, nom, nom. It was burgers. No, I had a hot dog, didn't I? Was it hot oh, dogs it was or hot... burgers? I don't know. It was hot dogs. Actually, I think it was burgers. I'm sure it was burgers. You know, we yeah. went there and... It was Blackpool, right? And Blackpool is, if you don't know, in America, is like a seaside resort, a, a beach kind of place. Massive, massive road leading up the beach is maybe uh, five, six, maybe ten miles long. And up there was where we had to keep going up and down to get to the place. And you know, you're thinking, oh, a beach that'd be fucking great. Uh, almost in the like late spring, early summer. And you know what? It rained every fucking day. <laughs> 
It's true. It rained every single day. And, and it, was, it was meant to be. It should have been sunny, you know? It, w- it, it would have been amazing if it was sunny. I mean, I liked the whole thing. I liked the uh, place we were. It had a nice casino. It had um, the place where... Yeah, the don't get was. me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The nightlife was great. Mm. Uh, we had a great time in the clubs and the drinking. It was a shame that the last day before we went back, we was going to go to the uh, theme park on the roller coaster, but it was pouring down. So it was like, screw that. We're not going to the theme park. We'll just like, go back home. It was like literally the wettest Easter. It was the Easter weekend, yeah? The, the wettest Easter in history. It literally <laughs> was. It was in the newspapers. Yes. The, it was like, oh great, just when we fucking... The first time me and Aaron have been to a beach together. This is the... Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, hopefully Manchester will be better. Even though it's going to be October, I bet you the weather will be better than it, it was fucking be, it be. last time. It's a shame that Manchester isn't on the uh, the seaside. I, but I know, but it's, I, can, I can almost guarantee it's going to have a good nightlife. I just can yeah, vision I, I, it. I, I can see it as well. I like, lots of clubs, lots lots of pubs. The city centre's like, a really nice place. I do like Manchester. Uh, we need to really. check where the venue is, so we know Ooh. how far away from the hotel. We need to get a hotel book soon. That's we need a to good find point. out where the venue is. Get is, this a hotel. A two, is this a two-day event, Aaron? I think, yeah, I think it's Saturday, Sunday. So, is that... We'll, we'll go down uh, on the Friday, and we'll book the Friday night and the Saturday night, and come back on the Sunday, maybe? All right, EGL8, let's have a look. Or, is it a two-day event where they have Gears on one day and Halo and stuff on the other? Or is I'm it quite sure they'll, they'll have it the same as last time, Gears on both days, I'd assume. I, I hope so, because it'll be nice to be there a bit longer. But, yeah, um, we'll get that sorted. Um, and I, it's going to be a lot of fun, <laughs> the, the, the live stream... Us on commentary, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I can guarantee there'll be other people that want to come on the the uh, the shoutcasting, like fucking people from Apex and stuff. I can guarantee they want to pop on. They've got yeah? fighting games. Fighting games. Street Fighter Four. Oh my god, Shane, you love that. I could destroy it that game. You should go to a Street Fighter Four tournament. I might. I might actually sign. But up. then you'll get destroyed by those really pro guys with their big. <laughs> Pads I know. Shit. I went. I played in London. And I played against this guy who plays DJ, and I always DJ is the kind of guy that me and my friends always joke about being really shit. And I got hammered, absolutely fucking destroyed by this guy. And then I, re- I thought, oh god, this guy must be really good. And then I looked at the World Championships with the teams, and Team UK got to the final, and that guy was playing DJ in it. And I was like, why do I have to fight him first? <laughs> and it was like knockout, weren't it? So you got like one of the best guys in the entire tournament first round. Mm-hmm. That sucks, Shane. But you did, wow, well, you did get destroyed. But at least you got like a lot I got of his it, life. I, I almost perfected in one one game, like, and then it just went downhill after yeah. that. It's because I kept jumping. I I don't know where I kept. You got you got excited. It was like I'm gonna. Yeah, I was like, I gotta jump and teleport. <laughs> <laughs> teleport. <laughs> You're not slender man, dude. Dalzim teleports. He's like pew. Everyone knows Dalzim. Oh. If you played Street oh, yeah, Fighter, Dalsim. rate, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh my God, Shane. <laughs> oh shut up. All right, what next? What should we talk about next? Um, uh, anything on your mind oh, yeah. that you want to and talk anyone about? Anyone here, um, EGL8 is in Manchester on the you, 13th yeah. and 14th of October. If you if you want to come and meet us, meet Aaron. If you don't want if you don't want to meet me, I'll go in the corner and you can meet Aaron whilst I'm not there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, EGL8 is the European Gaming League. It's a gaming event. There'll be Halo, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Street Fighter. There'll be other games as well. Yeah, FIFA. So it's a bit... A, yeah, FIFA. It's a big gaming convention, a big hall. There'll be loads of gamers there. Uh, 13th, 14th, like Shane said. We're going to be down there. We'll be staying in a hotel. We're going to be out drinking in the night. Uh, we'll be on the stage commentary. So if you want to meet us, uh, I will be there, Shane will be there, but I'll talk about it more in the future anyway, because I'm, I'm going to do a bit of pre-hype for it. It's going to be sick, I can't wait, I really can't wait, it's going to be sick, I love it, I can't wait. <laughs> I know, you're excited. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I just can't, I loved, I loved last time, it was great. I, I know, it was I the best. I know, I know. He's official, at uni. Official Mitch Meister, if you don't know about him, rate, comment, subscribe to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rate, comment, subscribe. Anyway, um, so let's think, what is the date? Is September right now. 20th. Trying to think. Three weeks? Um, three weeks, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go off the topic of EGL. We've spoke about it enough, All right. to be honest. Uh, instead, um, let's talk about... What do you Ooh, want to talk about, Aaron? I'm trying to think what people would want us to talk about. That's what's in my mind. Let's uh, talk guys, about Minecraft. Mi- what about Minecraft? What are we going to do about it? Because I kind of blew up the house. Well, you did <laughs> blow up the house, Shane. You did. Um... Oh, 
but yeah, what we're gonna do then with Minecraft is I think I think I'm gonna have to like murder Shane a lot. So a guy actually a guy commented saying that we should do a well we should do some episodes where we basically uh, will build our own houses. We'll be separate. We have to be like close to each other, and then we have to try and murder each other and steal each other's stuff. So it'll be like one v one Minecraft style. Yeah, I like um, that idea actually. We it, need, it sounds. We we'll need fun. to flesh it out a bit because. I mean, if we say something like that, there's ways you can abuse it. Like, you can just sit in a corner and just like, Ooh, no one can get me. But, um, yeah, if we flesh it out with a couple of rules, it'll be really fun and make it fast-paced and stuff. So it's not like yeah. an hour long with camping like Daisy. Oh, that'd be boring. <laughs> um, but people like Daisy, strangely. Uh, actually, it is it's a very realistic game. I, I find it very slow, but if it you is. get into it, it's a very good game, I've heard. I, th I think it's the kind of game where it'll be really fun if more people play it and if, um, if, if it's a bit easier. But, I mean, mm. if, if you were in a real zombie apocalypse, you would just sit in a corner with a gun and just wait for someone yeah. to walk through the door, shoot them and fucking... You know, it's, it's a very campy game. Or you either have to camp or you're going to die. And that that can, like, entertaining-wise, that can be a bit boring. Exactly. I think this is why most people, when they play Daisy, they'll uh, get, like, the highlights of, like, a, a long session of a few hours and they'll get the best bits and they'll put it into a short of five, ten-minute video. Because, you know, if they showed the whole thing in, like, a series, I think it'd be quite boring. Yeah, I think it'd probably be impossible to do a series on it unless you did that and even then you play for like two hours get five minutes worth of footage and maybe you'll even die in that time it's true it's yeah. really not worth your time unless you this, really this like is, the game this is the thing with um league of legends for me shane is a match can take 40 50 minutes and yeah. that takes forever to render forever to upload and then it and then it only gets let's say a few thousand views yeah. or something and it's like it's the thing with time you know uh, i don't have a good enough computer where i would want to render a 40 minute video i'd rather just make a 15 20 minute video uh that isn't the legends yeah and uh, my computer's worse than yours and yeah. uh i couldn't do that i mean the only thing that you could really do and both of these are time consuming are firstly stream it which um it's a bit awkward um and the second thing you can do is edit it down and if you edit it down it becomes a time consuming process in that way so i mean mm. I, I really want to do league of legends like really bad just because i love the game but because I'm doing other things and because I've got to render shit and I've got to edit shit, it's just, I can't, do, I just don't have the time. Streaming isn't the problem, really, because uh, you can just play a game and stream it and not, just forget about the stream, just have it there recording. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, streaming is if you upload a video, the stream will start lagging. And me and Shane upload a lot of videos between ourselves, like, insane That's amount. True. So, streaming can be a problem. This is why when we do streams, usually it's just me and Shane being drunken and goofy <laughs> and we don't upload when we're doing it so it's like the best quality hey hey how's about if we, we'll do league of legends streams you just stream it me and you play duo queue in ranked that sounds and, and like we'll a good idea dig our way out of elo hell because we watch enough team solo <laughs> mid to know what team comps are good and how to do the protect the cogmore um uh, <laughs> strategy everyone I tanky <laughs> except for cogmore yeah, I haven't played League in like a month. I played two games in a month. <laughs> wow, what has happened to us? We used to play League like every day, seriously. I have like a thousand games on League, and if you don't play League, everyone, it takes at least 20 minutes to play a game. At 20 minutes, you can surrender. You have to play at least 20 minutes. Most take about 40 minutes, so 40 times a thousand. 40, oh my god. 40,000 minutes playing League. Holy oh, shit! I would like to know... How much that isn't hours. Guys, if you know what 40,000 hours is in... Rate, comment, subscribe. No, just comment and tell us what it is. Okay. <laughs> but if you really want to, rate, comment, subscribe. <laughs> that is a lot of hours. Holy shit, Shen. You've played so much League of Legends. I really have. Fuck. Um... Anyway, um, well, since we're both here... And you know it's, you know, it's really weird? Go Shane on. lives in the room next to me. Yeah, I do. And we barely fucking see each other that's true that is really true like we, we'll, we talk on skype we do we talk on skype through the wall <laughs> like oh it's like hi shane meh yeah lit literally right when i leave my room i'll make a noise i won't even say hi to Aaron. i'll make a noise going like ah, and he'll say ah, back and uh that's us that's code for are you alive <laughs> 
<laughs> because we're so busy. We're, we're making videos all the time. We're talking to other people. You know, we're doing our thing. It's not like we fucking hate each other. We're like, we're going to stay in my room. I don't like this guy anymore. <laughs> It's just uh, that we enjoy our, you know, our own space and shit. I mean, we go out, we go like, drinking and shit, and we go in the kitchen together and cook or, or talk and shit and stuff like that, but we just don't spend time together, you know, like that. If we had a living room, maybe we would, <laughs> but we don't because Aaron's messed it up. Leave my... The mess is organised mess of... No, it's not organised at all. You just wow. threw your stuff in there. It's like, what? Hey. I'll clean this up some other time. Five months later, still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been five months. It has been five I've months. Dumped it in there five months ago, and we haven't even. Well, I haven't even touched it. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, the reason why we never see each other, we're both introverts. We like our own personal space, and you know, we spend a lot of our time just sat on our computers making videos. So, you know, it works out for the both of us. But but we did go for a drink earlier, and we had a picture, and it was all. Like... <laughs> Yeah. Was all like, Aaron was like, it sucks having to rush our drinks. And I was I like, know. maybe I... we should have another picture. And he was like, no, we have to get back because like Butter and Landon or things are <laughs> oh waiting for us. And then we come home, you know, they're, and they're nowhere near as drunk as I want to be. They're not even there. It's like we rushed our we rushed our drinks at the pub. We came back and we like we walked really fast to get back. Did. And I was breathing like... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I know what we can talk about. Shane, what is your top three favourite YouTubers? Oh, um, fuck, that's tough. Retsu Prey, probably number one. Really? He, number one? Uh, it's either them or Game Grumps or Donkey. It's those three. Ooh. Those three are my top three, and I can't put them in any. I think Donkey's number three at the moment. I think Game Grumps are number two. I think Retsu Prey are number one. You love that Retsu Prey then, Shane? Honestly, they are just... Such dry, witty comment. Guys, if you haven't heard of Retsu Prey, go have a look. Basically, they take a really bad uh, YouTube Let's Player and they'll talk over them. You know, like a commentary on their bad commentary. And it's hilarious. They are so funny. I wish I was bad enough to get Retsu Prey. I really I, do. I, I love it. I would be like, oh my god, I got Retsu Prey. <gasps> like, seriously, I, I would fangirl like a... Beast, oh and they'd be, they'd be like, "Oh, this this guy can't commentate to save his life," and they'd be saying really nasty things about me and shit. And the I shade would be, be so happy. happy. I'd be so happy. What about you, Aaron? What's your top three? Oh, this is tough. I really don't watch enough YouTubers. I I don't have time to watch people. But uh, Donkey's definitely in my top three too. I really like Donkey. Yeah, he's uh, funny. yeah, and Game Grump. So we have two things there. I don't really watch Resu Pro. That's the thing. Like the vi like the videos usually are about 20, 30 minutes. I just don't have time to watch them. I just watch them um, in bed. So I'm I just scrolling them. through right now my subscriptions list to see who my third oh, would be. Oh, I know who it is. Who? Arrow in the knee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, someone definitely. Just, dude, someone just added me on Skype. Who is it? Oh, um, it's probably th Team Four Star. I like them. They are pretty good, actually. They, I, I really like it. Their production quality is insanely good. Oh yeah, their, their I, production I, I quality is like freaking. I wonder how long they spend editing those oh, videos. I guarantee together. it's like a month, at least a month with all Fuck. the recording in between. Because they they have to do shit over Skype, send uh, voice files, all this shit from different yeah. people to and one person. All... They'll edit it, and it, oh, fucking hell, it's really it's amazing what they do, especially for no money. But and it entertains millions of people. Entertains so. me like a fucking amazing. boss. Oh yeah, entertain, entertains me a tour. They do a good job. Um. Well, that was a good one. Come on, you have to ask. You have to say something. I've been, I've been interrupting you. What about me saying something? I've been interrupting you all the time, and now I decided <laughs> I'm, I'm going to close my mouth. I'm going to close my mouth because you know people are probably get a bit. You haven't been talking enough, Shane. What? I've been interrupting you. I've been all the talking time. this entire time. Right, fine, I'm going to talk more. All right, guys. Hello, this is Arrow <laughs> in the Knee bringing you a great. Um, Gears of War commentary. This on, is a Gears of War. Uh, <laughs> great Skype commentary on Yummy Mash. And today, <laughs> I would like to talk to you about YouTube. YouTube is a great community of happy yeah, yeah. people and, fl <laughs> and okay, flowers Shane. and happy days. There's, there's now, no flowers. Oh. There's no. There, I killed all the flowers. I, all st I stood on the flowers. Could you imagine Slenderman standing on a fucking a bed of flowers and someone coming up to him saying, "You should get off them, sir." No, it's like, there's a sign, get off the grass, and Slenderman's on the grass, like, Slenderman, get off the grass, like, oh, and he goes back on the <laughs> yeah, pathway. Yeah, he's just all sad. He's all like, oh. upset. He hasn't got any mouth, so he's like, mmm. 
<laughs> I do. I have to talk about that thing with the Slenderman. Oh, no, no. we got to do that and then everyone can see it. Oh, uh, it's so good, though. <laughs> 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 Oh, Nobody yeah. knows what we're on about. I know, oh. I know. We, whenever we go to the kitchen or whenever we go uh, up the town, we always end up talking about what we want to do for our next video. Uh, like all those videos, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take full credit for this because this is all me. What? All of those big videos that Aaron's done, like real life scary game behind the YouTube, those were all my ideas. All of my ideas. Aaron executed them. Fine, he did all the hard work, but they were all my ideas. Fine, be like that. But they were. Hey, I, I said you executed on them. Fuck, that's harder than the idea. Fuck, what, why are you so... All right, then I win. No, I'm just saying that I had my uh, part. Okay, you had, you, had, you had a part too, Shane. I had my part, Aaron. Yeah, you had, why is your mouth all close to your microphone? Aaron, I, I did my part. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. I did my part. You, you did. You did your part, Shane. Uh, okay. All right, what next, Aaron? Well, you know, you know what's, um, you know what's quite amazing? YouTube? Yeah, yeah, YouTube is pretty amazing, Shane. Um, but you know what else is amazing, <gasps> an Shane? The common question of the day is brought to you by your name. Oh Bam. my god. And he said... <laughs> Go hey on. guys, um, what do you prefer? Uh, blonde or brown hair? And so then, guys, you heard that? What do you like more? Brown hair or blonde? Doing your mom. Do, 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 do it, your mom. And the comments are like... <laughs> I prefer green. <laughs> uh, anyway, that, that blondes was always have the most fun, <laughs> but green hair has the most. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Um, I, I don't know. We should we should have thought about this before we did this podcast. I, like I said, literally, I, I we sat Aaron. down and I was like, "Let's do it." And then she was like, "Yeah, let's do it." And then we did it, and, and we're doing it. And I, we... I actually said, "What topics should we talk about?" And you were like, "Topics." What Top, we don't need topics. <laughs> well, who, who needs topics? You know? All right, Aaron, let's let's talk about um, when you were a kid. What was your favorite game? Um, Revenge of Shinobi. Oh my god, Sega that game Mega was the Drive. shit. Yeah. With and you went onto the shurikens and it was like, how many shurikens would you like? And you go to zero zero and you press X and it turns into infinite. Yes. yes! Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> that was the best. That game had. It was really easy up to one point, and then there was this really long jump on this water level. Oh my, that jump, it was the most insane jump in history. And that was the level with the dinosaur skeleton boss at the end. <laughs> oh, then, that jump. And there was a dirty labyrinth at the end of the game. Yeah. And you got to the end, and there was a girl there, and she's all, like, in a cage and shit. And you get to, have you ever got to the end? No, I, I got so, lost so, in the labyrinth. So, I'm so sure at the end, if you haven't done something specific, like 100% of the game, she gets killed. I'm so, so sure of it. Wow, that's bullshit. Yeah. Or well, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Maybe, uh, like, oh, Solstice 2. I don't even know. But, yeah, that was a pretty good game. What about, like, PlayStation? Uh, PlayStation. Probably Final Fantasy 8? You know, I actually, as much as Final Fantasy 8 as a game is not that great, I, I still consider it my favourite. It was just oh. so fun. Yeah, it was, it was my childhood game. I never really played Final Fantasy 7. Um, and then Final Fantasy 9, I didn't think it was as good as 8. So, for yeah. the PlayStation, Final Fantasy 8 is my favourite. I'll tell you what, everyone. Back in the day, when me and Aaron played Yu-Gi-Oh! and he was really young, he had two copies of Final Fantasy 7. I got a copy of Final oh Fantasy God. 7 for a Gaia the Dragon Champion secret. I really rep. wanted it! I had my Gaia the Fierce Knight, my Cursor Dragon, and my Polymerization. All I needed was Gaia the Dragon Champion to complete the fusion! Yeah, Gaia the Dragon Champion, everyone. If you looked on... On eBay, I'm sure it'd be like 10p now. Like, uh, and I bet, I bet back then it didn't even cost more than like two quid on eBay. I bet then. it didn't. I bet it didn't cost oh more than two god. quid. Oh my god. I had no idea. I was a kid. I didn't know. Yeah, but you were really like... When you traded cards, you were such a hard ass. You always got the best deals. You were such a knob. <laughs> hey, I, I, I was doing business, Shane. Yeah, and in that, in that one, I got the best deal ever. Well yeah. done. Yeah. You must be really proud of yourself. I am really proud. Anyway, what's your favourite game for the... Uh, your favourite childhood game and your favourite PlayStation game? Favourite childhood game. Uh, we're going back to all NES, SNES and... Yeah. Alex Kidd for the Ma uh, Sega Master System. It was the, you say that. It was the launch title for the Master System. He was the... Um, Alex Kidd was the... Uh, the mascot for Sega before Sonic the Hedgehog. He was built into all of the uh, the, the systems. Just turn it on with no game in and that game plays. And then they replaced them all with Sonic the Hedgehog when he first uh, debuted and shit. 
Alex Kidd was just great. I might do a playthrough of that game because it was so cool. As far as PlayStation goes, what's my favorite game, Aaron? Uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Honestly, it might. Legend of Dragoon. Everyone, if you haven't uh, seen that, go like, comment, subscribe to all of Legend of Dragoon's channels. <laughs> no, I'm, I might do that. That's a. It's a really, really. It's like Final Fantasy, but it was kind of good. It's like these guys turn into like dragon guys, and it's kind of like Final Fantasy VII and VIII. But it's a. It's a really, really well done game. But it was really rare, and I played it when I was young. I haven't played it since I was like 14, and um, it cost like 50. 50 quid on eBay at the moment, I think it is. It's wow. Really, it's really expensive. That is expensive for a game. I've bidded on so many that have been like 20 quid and they've just got outbid. Like, <laughs> 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 um, you know what I used to really enjoy doing when I was a kid and it was the best thing ever? Go on. Are you ready? Go on. I don't think I've ever said this. I would watch an episode of Beyblade that Ooh. I had pre-recorded on a video cassette. <gasps> Aaron's, Aaron's, um... Aaron's Ar Cartoon Mania. That's what I remember that shit. I had, like, five of them, and they were all <laughs> recordings of Digimon, Pokemon, Beyblade, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Me Metabots, um, Jackie Chan. Like, Jackie Chan like Adventures. Stuff you'd find on, um, Fox Kids and Cartoon Network and shit. Fox Kids, before it was turned into Jetix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> But I'd watch an episode of Beyblade, like one of my pre-recorded episodes, because I love Beyblade. And I would have a ham, cucumber, and cheese roll with mayonnaise, and a cup of tea. And I'd do have it every day after school, and it was the best thing ever. I was so happy. Just saying. Aaron knew this guy called Jack Yardley. He, and, he was um, a great childhood friend friend of mine. Yeah, he, he was a bit strange, though. And He, um, he was special. Yeah. And af after The Simpsons, every night... At 6 p.m., well, at 6.20 p.m. after The Simpsons finished on BBC Two in the UK, Aaron would get a phone call. <laughs> oh. And Jack Yardley, this kid, would proceed to talk about the entire episode <laughs> of The Simpsons to Aaron. And Aaron would try to get off the phone to him. I'd try my best, but he <laughs> wouldn't stop. Oh, my God, it's so funny. Uh, he would act, and he was like, he'd do these impressions, like he'd do a Homer Simpson impression. <laughs> and then <laughs> he'd memorize some of the scenes from the episode he just watched. Like, he had great memory for these things. And he'd do a Homer Simpson impression, then he'd do his Marge impression, his Bart impression, and go through an entire scene. And I'd be like, yeah, that was, that was great. Thank you for that. It was literally the worst impressions ever. Like, hey, homie. <laughs> it was literally <laughs> like that. <laughs> And he'd do it for Star Wars as well, that freaking Star Wars cartoon animated thing. He'd, oh he'd God, ring me after that it? as well. Did, what, even something he knows you're not watching? Yeah. Oh I'm like, God. Aaron, did you watch this Star Wars thingy? I can't remember what it was called. And I'd be like, no. And he'd be like, well, it was great. You should watch it. And this happened, this happened, this happened. I was like, not again. <laughs> and um, he would have bacon on toast every morning for breakfast. Twice a week he'd have a KFC. And then I think two or three times a week he'd have a pizza. And I don't know about the other couple of days. I he don't was know skinny as all hell as well. But he was very skinny. I just think he probably had a lot of fat in his arteries and shit from all that fatty food. I don't yeah. know. I wonder what he's like nowadays. I haven't seen him in years. I, I remember there was this video of Aaron. Actually, oh, if you want to no. go find it... It's, it's gone, right? It's been taken down, Has right? it been taken down? I think so. Oh, there was a Thank video God. of that guy's 18th birthday and Aaron was there. And basically, he, <laughs> he oh. got told by... Um, uh, the the mum and dad that it's like oh this is gonna be great there's gonna be paintballing and there's gonna be a uh, street fighter tournament and uh, whatever and it is and there's gonna be food and everything and Aaron was like oh I'll go along to that Aaron, Aaron really didn't care at this point he just didn't want to be around let me him. tell it let me tell it go on you gotta tell so it. I get picked up by uh, one of his, one of my uh, one of Jack's friends his name was Gareth and um, he was a special guy too and his family was very special um, <laughs> yeah. and I got in the car and um, they all started having a massive argument on the way there and I was like oh I really don't want to be here now and they were shouting at each other and they and they stopped off at this uh, this corner shop and then two of them went in and I was left with just I think I think it was just the mom in the front and then she was like just sat there, I was like, okay. Anyway, and they were in that corner shop for about 15 minutes. Like, I was just sat in that car for 15 minutes waiting for them. I was like, I just want to get to the party, and I was excited. And they came back with loads of food and stuff. Anyway, we got to the party, and um, and to be honest, the car really smelled. Like, it really smelled. I didn't like it. I was waiting for you um, to say that. <laughs> yeah, I had to say it. Anyway, we got to the party, expecting paintballing, street fire tournament, and some food. Got there, 
and um, wow, the paintballing was target paintball, and um, you have to shoot these like targets, like this fluffy toy rat and these cans and stuff. And I was like, oh god. Anyway, I expected real paintballing, you know. But anyway, and um, we did that, and that was kind of shit. And then the Street Fighter tournament was on a like a 15, 16 inch block TV on the floor. And it was just Jack Yardy playing pretty much by himself. So I was like, oh, that's a great Street Fighter tournament. Didn't even get to play. And um, and then the food was, um, <laughs> the food. Two, there was two sections. There was an adult section and then the rest, like the kids, even though it was his 18th birthday, that's might I point. add. It's 18. And I went to have a sandwich, but it was the adult section. So I couldn't even have a sandwich. Oh dear, this is so bad. That is, and and there was a video online. I wish I could find it. If I find it, I'm uploading it to Aaron's. Uh, I'm uploading it. To no, my you're Everyone's never uploading it. it. And Aaron's there, and someone's like, "Oh, this is Aaron." And Aaron's really trying to hide. <laughs> I was running away, and I was super emo back then. Yeah, he had emo hair. He was like, "No, I don't want it. I don't want you to see me, because <laughs> I don't no, want I'm people to know I was here." <laughs> I didn't want to be there. After about ten minutes, I was like, "Why?" I want to go home. I just want to leave. But yeah, that was a very bad day. Um, I think he, yeah, he's 21 now. He'll be 22 oh in January, God. so he's grown up too. I, w I wonder what his 21st was like. <laughs> 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 Definitely oh. interesting, I'd say. Goes drinking, has smell of ice. Oh, uh, <laughs> has one you know, smell I've of had smell of ice before. It's actually quite tasty. Mm. It is nice, but it doesn't get you pissed. Yeah, I know, I know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't drink it out in the like in the pub or out anywhere. Oh, I would if 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 I was trying to slow down. Oh yeah, I get, yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah. So so yeah. That All was right. a... So we've talked about that. Mm, where's the list? Where's the topic list that we don't have? Yeah, no topic list. Let's let's look on my word pad that's open. <laughs> you have a word pad that's open? Yeah, it's got loads of stuff. Like it's like if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and must be released. That must be my fucking. Oh, uh, that's thing. your Nuzlocke rules, right? Yeah, it's like a big. Big load Speaking of, of stuff Pokemon, I've been waiting for Black and White 2 to be released for the past gazillion months. Yep. While waiting for it to be translated, but it just hasn't been translated. I was going to do a Pokemon freaking Pearl walkthrough or whatever uh, ages ago, but I've just been waiting for this game to get translated, so I've kind of not done a Pokemon walkthrough for ages. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep waiting. Eventually, it'll be done. And that means there's no Pokemon for you guys. If you want to see Pokemon, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Oh you my god, Shay. <laughs> you're, the, you're the worst. I'm the best. Uh, oh, Breaking Bad. Actually, no, we can't do spoilers, oh, actually, Shay. We can't <clears throat> do spoilers. Actually, we can. Just tell people to just mute it for now. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, guys, for the next, uh, I don't know how long we're speaking about Breaking Bad. Um, yeah. Breaking Let's just Bad. say it's, it's amazing. It's not really spoilers. I mean, fucking Actually, hell. for the people who don't know what Breaking Bad is, it's a TV series. It's about a chemistry teacher who uh, gets cancer and he's got like a couple years to live or something. And um, he decides to, um, for the past couple of years of his life, to get into the meth industry. Uh, like, you know, meth's a drug, obviously. And um, he wants to make his, like money for his family so he can support them when he's dead. So it's, you know, it's all good, good, like, heart kind of thing. Like, he's doing it for his family first and then you see him like morph into like a drug lord as the series like uh, continue and he becomes a whole new person and it's just an epic epic adventure it's so good i mean i've i aaron had watched i think like up to season four when i started watching it and um <clears throat> if if you watch from season one all the way through to season four he really does morph it's it's one of the best written shows i've ever seen uh, there's so much, you know, character development. You love characters, and it, it's one of those things where you don't know who the good guy really is. That's the that's the big thing mm. about it. you don't know what's there's, good, what's bad. It's like bad, a grey area. Guy. It's a grey area. There's like black and white. There's no black and white. It's just grey. Like you don't yeah. know exactly. And Brian Cranston, the guy who plays yes. uh, Walt, is such a good actor. It's amazing. Yeah. He's Hal from uh, um, uh, Malcolm in the Middle. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, he's Hal All from right. Malcolm in the Middle, and he was good in that. <laughs> I, I saw a video on YouTube of Malcolm in the Middle, and um, what, I think they like did a thing where it was like, uh, what the fuck was it? I saw what a video. It? What was it? It was like a Malcolm in the Middle scene, and it was like a Breaking. They like had it as it was like as if it was a Breaking Bad scene or something. Like it was really good. Editing. Malcolm in the Meth Lab. <laughs> Malcolm in the Meth Lab. That's great. Uh, but yeah, it was something like that. But yeah, it's really good. Actually, people want us to go out and watch films, Shane, like at the cinema. 
like big films that come out and then do a review on them. Well, last time I did that, I got loads of hate because I said Bane wasn't a super genius. <laughs> Everyone was like, Shane, I'm unsubscribing from you and I'll tell you why. Bane is a super genius. Have you not watched all of the cartoons and have you not seen all of the comic books? That was um, perfect. That's, Seriously, that's the troll I haven't voice. watched any of the comics, but I, I went by what was in the movie and not once did they say that he was a super genius. I just thought, in fact, it was perfect because he had uh, every, everyone was scared of him, so he had everyone else around him who could help him out. He didn't need to be a genius. He had like an army. He had like fucking followers that would die for him. Yeah, at the beginning of the movies, or like, um, the guy's trying to get out the plane while it's falling. He's like, no, we need to leave someone in the wreckage. And the guy's got like, okay. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I'll die, bye. <laughs> he doesn't even fucking, he doesn't even say, no, no, I don't want to die. He's just like, yep, I might as well because I'm going to die anyway. Bane is a beast. And yes. we, we've already said this. We've already gone through this in my Dark Knight review video. Just type in on the uh, YouTube search bar, Yummy Mash Dark Knight Review, and you can see it. And um, I think I'm in there too. And rate, comment, subscribe. To my channel. To my channel. To my channel. No! <laughs> to both my channels. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what? yeah. All right, Aaron. What's, uh, what? what's the movie that you saw, yeah? Yeah. That bothered you the most? Bothered the, me the, the most. You thought would have been good, but really. You know what I'm going to say, you. right? If you say gamer, then. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't have been expecting good things from that. I did. Fucking. The, the trailer was good. It and was it was okay. called Gamer. And the premise was good. It but they fucked good. up. They made it shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God. You know what they had in that the, movie? The most they memorable had, um... bit was the fat guy. Oh, my God. I remember yeah. that now. And he was like, and he oh, ate that food, and he was all greasy. He was like, just like eating shit and touching yeah. women and stuff. That was the most memorable bit of the whole thing for me. I can't remember anything else. Do you know what's really bad? They have what? Jared Butler in that movie and Michael C. Hall in that movie. How was it shit? Y yeah. What the fuck, Michael C. Hall? He's Dexter. Yeah, he was the, the villain best. In it. And he had a really southern accent. He was like, oh yeah, I, I gotta eat my grain. And he did that evil dance and stuff and the music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was awesome. How the fuck? How did they make that movie back? I know, it was just, it was the direction, and it was the freaking, the editing, they made, they just screwed up. Uh, what's what's it for you then, Shane? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I haven't seen it, I've only seen Part 2. Really? What was well, Part 1 like then? Um, Alright, you've got to think about this from my point of view. I'd never seen the books, yeah? Yeah. But I was very, very into the movies, I loved them, like, you have no idea how much I loved those movies. Okay, Was, so, was there a lot of trees? Half-Blood Prince... Was great. Uh, what's his name dies, and Snape's the bad guy, and I didn't know he was the good guy really. Yep. And um, the kid, and all this shit. And at the end of that movie, the thought, the thought that is in your mind, and you have a really bad feeling inside, is this is where the darkness rules. You know, this is where our heroes are going to step back, and they'll have to fight back against it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Harry Potter Seven starts, and um, throughout the whole movie. You need to be hitting a point where it's a, it's a climax, yeah? And it's a two-part movie, so it's one book in two yeah. parts of a movie. So you've got to hit a climax, yes? Uh, which ends, uh, you know, cuts off the movie to the next movie, yeah? And what they did is they had the bit where um, Voldemort finds the wand. The evil, yeah, fucking yeah. evil wand. Now, the problem with that was, throughout the entire movie and throughout the other movies, Voldemort has not really been shown. He's shown to have a lot of goons... A lot of all these stuff. But we never really saw him do much. I mean, even when fucking uh, uh, Harry's, like, asshole stepdad guy gets killed. That wasn't even Voldemort. That was, uh, what's her name? Uh, fucking Beatrix. Yeah. Yeah. That was her. You know, it wasn't him. It was his goons who did all this shit. Now, of course, um, you have to build up a villain. You have to make them big. Now, the people who were getting big, you know, in storyline wise were the people who were underneath him those people were strong i mean of course that they're you know listening to this guy and scared of this guy kind of makes you think Ooh. now through all this movie all we saw was goons all of it was goons the voldemort was never on the front line he was never with them everyone was like ah scream and running around everyone's got to run away and shit voldemort's not there and at the end of the movie, he's there. He gets the one who's like, yes! And shit, and lightning bolts hit him and everything. <laughs> and, and we're like... And I, I was sitting there like, they better not end it there. They <laughs> better not end it there. <laughs> this is so shit. Because I never saw him as a threat. And now he's got this one that's like, oh, okay. You know what it should be? It should be like, oh my fucking God, he's got the wand. Oh, we should be dying. Oh no, let's just go find under a 
rock. You know? Hide under a rock. That's how it should be. I know. I know what you're saying. And it bothered me. Part two was really good. <laughs> but yeah, part that, two was good. And the fact of the matter is, I had to wait six months for that. Uh, and I, I had that movie on my mind, and I, I was, I was so mad at it. Pure disappointment. This is where people say, Shane, if you read the books, you'd know. <laughs> Shane, I'm unsubscribing. Shane, I'm unsubscribing. I'll tell, I'll tell you, you why. why. You haven't read all the books, and you don't know anything about the Harry Potter story. Yeah. <sighs> oh, all right, I've got, it, worry, I've got it all out now. Everyone knows. It's okay. It is okay. It's all right. Um, I know what we can talk about for the next five minutes or so. Go on. Uh, so people have it clear. How to build a successful channel on YouTube. Yep. And we'll, we'll just say the most important points. Hard work. Yeah, hard, hard work. work. Hard work, good quality. Exactly. That's pretty much it. That is really it. And just don't give up. You, just keep going. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I mean, I'm a really small channel compared to Aaron. And I've got a lot of, um, you know, I'm, I'm on his channel right now. You know, he's given me a lot of exposure. But, I mean, if you look at a lot of the other channels that Aaron has given exposure to, like um, Edge, Kirby, um, who else has had? Uh, Frantics back in the day. People who were small and have just got a bit... They're nowhere near my size because I put out so much content and I put out, you know, every fucking day. Every day, I put out so much content... I mean, Edge only puts out, I think, one video a day, maybe two. Yeah. And because he hasn't been stunts. posting anything lately because his uh, Sony Vegas is screwed up. Oh, okay. You should just use Camtasia. I mean, if, if need yeah. be, that, that, that should be your go-to thing. But anyway, it's um, you just have to keep working hard. I mean, there are days when I wake up and I'm like, this is the, this is so shit. I, I could just give up and no one would care. And it's horrible. It really is. And you've had those days sometimes, haven't you, Aaron? Yeah, I've had bad days where I just didn't want to do anything all day. Hmm. It's... But I soldier on, and I do it, and I enjoy it. And people enjoy it, so that's why I do it. What's the number one thing you like about YouTube, Aaron? Um, uh, it's the number one thing I like about YouTube. Um, the fact that you can there's a lot of exposure there's a lot of people that you can like show yourself to yeah and um it's it's like you don't have to go out your way i do it's in my bedroom i just yeah. turn on my computer and i do it i stay inside um i enjoy it you know it's it's what i would do anyway it's yeah. like it's it's basically my hobby has become my lifestyle you know yeah i get you so that's that's what I like the most. And also I like the fact that I, I get a lot of messages saying how they love my videos. And I make their day and I make them smile. They had a shit day. They've come back from work and they're happy. Yeah. And, you know, that, that that's what that's one of the big reasons why I do it because I make people happy. And that, you know, I, I go to bed like, you know, I've made people happy today. And that's a nice thing to have in your head when you go to sleep, I think. Yeah, I like that as well. I like interacting with people. Like, I've got loads of people who just message me on... Uh, on YouTube and on Skype and on Facebook now, and they're like, oh my god, you're Shane. And I'm like, calm down, I'm a normal person, but I'll talk to you, you know? I, I love, I just, I, I really love interaction. I, I read every fucking comment that is posted on my channel. And I, like, I'm a question answer, I answer every question. I think Aaron would do that if he didn't have 600 comments on it. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot. It is a lot. So, you know, I mean, I just, I love when people talk to me. It's really nice. It, it's humbling as well, it really is. It's like, it is. Yeah. It brings up your spirits when people say nice things. You know, you could be having a shit day too, and they can say nice things to you, and it just, you know, cheers you up. I have shit days all the time. Today's a pretty shit day for me, guys. It, it, it was pretty shit, honestly. That's why we went for a drink, you know? Uh, but now we're all happy, well, happier. Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I enjoy doing stuff like this. I just enjoy talking. I love the sound of my voice. Do you like the sound of my voice, guys? Do you oh like my the sound God, of my voice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hey guys, do you like listening to our voices? I like the sound of your voice, Aaron. <laughs> Wait, thank you, Shane. I like your voice too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no more of that now. <laughs> no more. Um. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up soon. Um. You know, we've been doing this for about three quarters of an hour now. Actually, let's do this for an hour, but for the next fifteen minutes, let's talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh days. The Yu-Gi-Oh days. Yeah. Why not? Okay. I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was 11 years old. If you don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is, it's a trading card game and it's fun. If you don't um, know what it is, rate, come subscribe to my channel because I do loads of it. <laughs> yeah, Shane does a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I've done a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos too. Just go people, on the YouTube people, search bar and type in Yamimash Yu-Gi-Oh! Shut up. People- HEY! 
Get off my sh- podcast, you. I can do this by myself. People... <laughs> People keep saying, oh, when are we going to get a match between you and Shane? And, 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 well, it's up to you, Aaron, because you don't like losing, you know. Well, I know you're very scared and everything, but, um, <laughs> I guess we can do it sometime next year if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, go on, go um, on. so I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh when I was 11 years old, and I played it, like, how did I start playing? I think I saw an episode on TV, like the anime. Or the cartoon series, whatever it's... It's an anime, right? Uh, I always like calling it a cartoon if it's dubbed. Honestly. All right. So I watched it on, like, Cartoon Network or something. And I thought it was awesome. So I went to, like, a shop and I bought my first pack of cards. And it was a Metal Raiders pack. And I think I pulled Flaming Cerberus as my rare. Oh. <laughs> and Sam Darby was there. Oh, and dear. He's a, fr- he's a friend from the olden days. And he had a, a Lady of Faith. And he was like, my Lady of Faith is much superior to your Flaming Cerberus. And I was oh. like, but mine's got more attack. Anyway, I don't know why I remembered that. It was just random. Anyway. Oh, my God. And I got, like, a booster pack. I think it was, like, the uh, the Blue Eyes deck by Kyber and the Yugi deck. I got both of them. And I made a deck. And I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in, this, uh, in my secondary school. And we played it in the thing called the Fun Club. Where, I remember oh the fun dear. club. Oh my where god! We'd play board games and chill, Yu-Gi-Oh, and we'd it'd be like you know the, the, us nerdy guys would be sat in a room at lunchtime and we'd be just doing nerdy things. It's know? pretty much so you don't have to go outside and get beaten up. Pretty much, you know, you're all <laughs> safe and happy in your little fun club, and I was there yeah. too. And um, I, I played Yu-Gi-Oh in there, and then I expanded from the fun club room and I went to the library one day with my Yu-Gi-Oh deck, and I, I saw Shane. And uh, his brother Andy, and I think that was uh, Kyle maybe, and Reese. Kyle <laughs> Reese saw them playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the in the in the local library uptown on a table, and uh, I think I did. I come over and I was like, oh, "I want to play or something." I, I think I think he I think Andy bought he must have bought you a pound. Andy must yeah, have. he must have. Uh, I think I must have met Andy in the Fun Club. Then. You did. You met Andy in Fun Club. That's how you got to know us because Andy oh. said, "Oh, let's go do this." Blah blah blah, and then we then I asked your mum if. I could take you to Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. And Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments is when it got, you know, competitive. This is when things really got serious, when it wasn't just all fun and games, you know. Yeah, it's where we travel. It's where we started getting the the trains and the buses, the public transport, and we travelled the country. And at first, I was dog shit, you know. Everybody starts off pretty shit at the game. But you improve with experience and playing the game a lot. And I remember my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh tournament was in a place called Coventry. And I won three out of five games and I came like 14th or something. And there was a specific move where Shane told me, hey, if you su- if the guy summons the Borg and there's nothing else on the field, it has to kill himself. And in my last game in, in the tournament, the guy summons the Borg with nothing on the field. And I told him it has to kill himself. And that's what won me the game. So it was like coincidence. Yeah, he would have won. But I remembered. I was like, Shane told me this. And back then I didn't know anything. I was like, oh my God, it kills itself. Yes. And I ran like a beatdown deck with like spear dragons and shit. Oh my God, spear dragon. People play scapegoat. (laughs) It's like scapegoat, spear dragon, 1900 damage. How do you feel? People are like, my brain is exploding right now with all these Yu-Gi-Oh terms. And then then we went to like Birmingham, Sutton Coalfield every week. Marston Green. These were still local tournaments. Local tournaments, it's, as, as much as we say local, I mean, it took us 15 minutes on the train, then a, a bus for an hour. So I mean, it was quite far travelling. It, it was, it was, it was tough travelling, honestly. We'd usually wake up really early, get the train, get the bus, and then get there, and by the end of the day, we've been on our feet all day, you know, room of fat, sweaty people. Honestly, <laughs> if you go to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, take a fucking can of spray and just offer it to people. It's and a nice thing. It really is, because they don't know they smell. I, you know, I, I was thinking really taking one and offering it to They're a bit weird, my... some of them are. I mean, it's it, yeah. it comes with the territory of being a trading card game. You'll have strange people. But they really do smell, and they need to, like, you know, you need to just give them a bit of a hint. And just say, you want a bit? You know? Want a bit? Of sp- spray yourself and then offer it to them, and they'll be like, and you'll be like, yes! Less! F-. I mean, Coventry. Coventry used to be a really tight-packed uh, room, and it smelled, <laughs> it smelled like teen spirit. Uh, if if anyone knows what that um, that reference means, and it really it was it didn't have any windows or anything. It was <sighs> but yeah, if you go to a Yugo tournament, take some freaking spray and then offer it to the people sat next to you and your opponent, and then you might be able to uh, breathe when you play the game. Um. <laughs> and then we went to nationals. Nationals. And no, big I'm big talking big about. I want to talk about the regional first. Oh, oh, your fucking master. Yeah, regional. I hadn't won any tournaments up until then, Shane. You didn't really. I never won, won a local. Never won a local. I top four. I top eight. I never came into a final even. 
I never won any tournaments. Wow. And the reason why I was so successful is, uh, I think a few weeks before the regionals, I made my zombie deck. Yes. And I got my 3DD assailants. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, really good back then, £20 each. And I had three of them in my deck. And, and I had, like, Cyber Dragons and everything. Like, it was a sick deck. And... Um, I remember playing. Actually, I don't. I don't know if I had. I don't know if Cyber Dragon was out then. Um, I don't think it was. No, it probably wasn't. But I had my zombie deck, and I don't think anybody used zombie in that regional. Like it wasn't a big. It wasn't top tier, really, was it? It wasn't. And I used it, and I won the regional. Like there was like almost two hundred odd people in it, and um, it was. I think it was a Marston Green regional, right? Yeah, it was. And there was loads of people from London. People travelled around the country to come to it. It was a big tournament. And I uh, seven won Swiss up, and then I won the top eight cut, like the top eight knockout. Won the regional, got a big trophy. I was on the stage and I got pictures taken and got a box of cards. Yep. And my mum was so proud of me. You know, everyone back in that day, the people from London they were known as trotters because they came from this. Um this shop that was, you know, this card game shop was Trotters, and they used to travel together, you know, as a team, kind of like. And I think this was the first time me and Aaron had, had experienced any of those guys coming up to one of our regionals, and it was kind of like, oh shit, we're going to get fucking hammered. Yeah. Like, they were really good, you know? They, they, they really were. They were, like, top tier, and everyone where we lived didn't really know what they were doing. So, I, I guess maybe it's because everyone was running top tier decks and uh, that zombie kind of thing was anti meta. People attacking. If they attacked one of your face downs, it'd be either be a DD assailant or a pyramid turtle, and both of those would suck for them. Exactly. And I had three spirit reapers too, and they were you annoying. You ran three reaper. Oh I, my I, I'm god. very sure I ran three of them. Oh my god. That's it was insane. so good. And I, I can't remember what was the top tier deck back then in that tournament. Was I, it Monarchs? I, no, I, I tell you, I think, I think maybe back then it was a uh, scapegoat, Thousand Nights Strip Metamorphosis. I don't know. I don't think that I didn't play any of those. Oh, okay. You definitely, it was after definitely that. Wasn't there. I remember people. Was I it think Monarchs? it was Monarchs, was it Monarchs? with Grey Cooper spies and Dakotchis and oh, Sacred Really? Was it that later? Yeah, on? very oh, sure that was it. Because I remember um, about maybe less than a month after there was a certain Coalfield City Championships and I had swapped to a Monarch deck. Oh, okay, then. So, so I'm quite sure that was what it was. All right, then we then we went to nationals and Ferris Tour finals and stuff like that. Aaron yeah. kept uh, kept topping those, like getting really close to top eight, but not quite getting there. Like tenth and thirteenth. Uh, and these were year. massive events in a massive hall with fuck tons of people. Ab- Hundreds. Really official as well. Like, you had to sit down and, and they'd be, like, you know, reading out the rules and shit and you'd be paired up. And if you made even a slight mistake of the rules, people would call over a judge and you get disqualified and shit. Kind of horrible in that way. But it was it was quite an experience, that was. It I'd was. Say. And I remember there was a massive um, projection on the wall uh, at the Ferris Tour final and before the last round of Swiss. And I think I was, like, 11th or 12th or something. Mm. And, no, I think I was 10th, actually. Like, and I was like, oh, my God, if I win this, I'm top eighting, baby. And, and I lost. Fail. <laughs> Who did you, was that Hanoi Tang? That was Hanoi Tang. Oh, my God. How do I know this shit? Yeah, you, I told you many times. Yeah, you drew a... Oh my god, how do, I, how do I know the move? But Aaron lost, and it was really unlucky for him to lose. Like, really, yeah, really unlucky. Yeah, it was bad times. Very bad times. But then the next year, I topped a Ferris Tour final, so it was all good. Yeah, that was that was insane to see Aaron there, because everyone was, like, watching from... I was watching... Uh, all the other people from, like, Birmingham and stuff were watching, and all the other people from around the country were watching, and it was, like, I think the top four... Uh, cut the semi-finals and Aaron was there and everyone was pulling for Aaron and I really thought Aaron would had won but Aaron lost yeah it sucks but it was fun it was good it was great to see it really was but yeah Yu-Gi-Oh was it's a really fun game it, I, I miss it it was, it was an experience the travelling was amazing meeting yeah. people uh, after a tournament like going to the cinema going to a curry house curry house Love that curry house. And then sometimes on weekends when there wasn't a tournament, we'd go to um, the Millennium Point, the think tank. Yep. And we'd uh, go in the little bar area and we'd sit and play children's Yu-Gi-Oh card games. Just oh, those were the good days. They were. I mean, we got to go to big tournaments. Just the big ones. Like, I like the ones with hundreds of people. Yeah, just go to them, and vlog the camera, them. vlog them, play in them, see if we can get top eight. Sounds good to me. I like it. Was, it. We was meant to go to Sheffield a couple of weeks back. Yeah, that's a shame. But we never did. Went to see a chick instead. <laughs> Aww. But yeah. But yeah, I I miss it. 
I miss it too. All right, I think we've uh, shot the wind a bit and uh, 54 minutes. I think this is a good point to wrap it up. All right, well, we're going to try and get a couple more people for next time, um, whoever's online. If there's any people out there who uh, want to be in this podcast, message me, but I'm not going to pick up any old person. I want to see if you have videos and you're a good personality, I'll have a look. Yeah. No guarantees, though. Uh, Shane, do you want to say anything to end this up? Yeah, if you could um, rate, comment, subscribe, oh, that would be great. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. All right, guys, thanks for watching the podcast, and we'll see you next time. Hope Goodbye. you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.